there's actually some pretty crazy stuff to cover today regarding the RTX 5090 and the other 50 series of graphics cards alongside the new motherboards for Intel and AMD. And then just something really cool that I wanted to share regarding the AO Neo handheld gaming console because handheld gaming consoles seem to be pretty popular right now for some reason, not really 100% sure why. However, let's go ahead and jump into the first article here. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 5090 GPU is going to be featuring a massive monolithic GB202 Blackwell die. And then this right here is the other uh, article that I wanted to cover because there's some like legitimate like holy moly type of wow that's super duper like massive ridiculously that's like five slot territory that's crazy how thick that boy is but uh or girl i should have said girl don't take that in the incorrect way i, I totally meant to say girl there nvidia geforce rtx 5090 flagship GP gpu is going to feature a massive and monolithic gb202 blackwell die and this is coming from a very reliable source the beloved Copite 7 Kimi. I, I really am just so curious to how he came up with his name. But anyways, NVIDIA's GeForce RTX. Oh my goodness. How many times are you going to repeat yourself? Literally, dude. Title. First sentence. Another time. It's literally the same thing three times in a row, bro. Let's see. Okay. Based on what we know. Oh my God. So you're literally repeating it for the fourth fucking time. Jesus. <laughs> All right. Let's scroll down here. So anyway, all right, well, NVIDIA has shifted the design HPC AI chips, such as the B100 and B200, and it seems like, is that really what we're talking, so we titled the video, so we titled the article 5090, and now we're talking about the AI GPUs, really, come on. So it said the GB202 Blackwell GPU is physically monolithic at the design, and then we know expected number of SMs and cores as GB203, whatever. Okay, so I got clickbaited. So we will get more NVIDIA, but -na -na -na. NVIDIA essentially the GB203 dies monolithic package without making it seem like a chiplet design. Bros, I really, I think I, whoa, I, yo, that looks like somebody I know. His hair is a lot longer, or this guy's hair is a lot longer, but that his face looks like somebody I know. I'm actually being serious too. All right, so, all right, here we go. This is what I was looking for. NVIDIA Blackwell GB202 GPU specs preliminary. I'm recording in 4K. You guys can definitely see this. I don't need. All right. So we got the GPC. We got TPC. We got the SM. Total SMs. Subcore FP32. I'm just being real. With you. I only understand what half this stuff is. Dude, I just. I like to use it. Okay. I just like. I just like. I like to get stuff. I like to test it. I like to use it. I like to benchmark it. I like to see what it is, dude. I really don't. I'm just being honest, dude. I really don't care about the FP32 int 32. I just don't care about that. I just don't care. Total SMs. Again, just don't really. Actually, I do care about that. Um, warps. I don't care about the warps. It just doesn't matter to me. ROPs. Again, don't care. <laughs> so anyways, I did actually see, uh, art, or not an article, but a, uh, a video. I'm actually going to do it right now because I'll forget if I don't. Um, this guy, I'm pretty sure he's just guessing, but I could be wrong about that. All right, so it's this guy right here. Um, yeah, this is the one. All right, so he's and he does it every single time. He, I mean, he he blurs everything. It's it's a watch. Don't they hate the player, hate the game. I understand why he does it, but uh, I'm trying to scroll through it. But you guys get to, if you want to go give him more watch time, you can go ahead and do that. But I'm just being honest, dude. I this I, it pisses me off when people do that. Oh hey, let me make an 11 minute video. Here's a fucking chart. But I'm going to blur it out the entire video and I'm never going to show you the full chart. If you blurred it out, like if we have like a little two or three minute segment and okay, we're going to talk about it. Okay, I get it, dude. It's again, don't hate the player, hate the game. But you make an 11 minute video and you never actually show the full chart. That's just a, that's a bitch move. <laughs> I'm probably going to get demonetized. I don't care, whatever. And video, <laughs> because it's true. It's a bitch move, bro. So like. And I like, again, if like, if so, for some reason, everybody goes over to his video and leaves a bunch of comments, oh, this guy just attacked you. Dude, I'm not attacking him. I was, I literally am, you saw him, subscribe to him. Literally live, you saw me, I'm subscribed, I watch his videos. 
but that video and how he made that video specifically that is a that's just, it pisses me off when people do that um but anyways i already I, I literally already showed you guys it's just a fatty that's literally all that's the only reason i wanted to show this like look how fat that girl is it's a big it's a big fella um <laughs> Because, dude, if the 5090 is bigger than the 4090, what the frick, dude? Um, but anyways, this right here, Gigabyte is teasing the Z890 Aorus Extreme motherboard. And this is revealed at Computex 2024. Um, dude, I really hope that 15th Gen Intel... Look, dude, I'm not saying the 14900K is bad. Because I literally... I wouldn't have it if it was bad. But, uh... It is super annoying to have it always boosting to its max speed and always boosting to its maximum freaking thermal. For gaming, you're never going to notice anything, dude. You're just not. You're not going to notice anything. But, like, if you're into the content creation space, you will notice the... I don't want... I don't even know what it's like. It, because it's not lag. It's a, uh, like... It's like a, a hiccup, I guess, is the only way that I can think to explain it. It's like you're 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 editing a video, man, and it like you all of a sudden, even though it's way over there, I can still hear my because I don't I don't wear a headset when I, I have a sound bar. I just don't I don't prefer I prefer not wearing a headset a bit annoy my ears like get all sweaty and stuff. Um But uh Oh my god, really did I already uh so anyways I can hear my fan like boost it doesn't do it but it's i mean i can hear my fan when i'm gaming but it's not like obnoxiously loud like the ek nucleus aio dude it does a really good job at cooling it but it doesn't matter what aio you put on that thing it is always going to boost as high as it can possibly boost it does not matter what aio you put on it it's like the performance like that you get so if you have a, a poop aio you're like whatever you're gonna just not get the speed that you're supposed to but i have a good aio and it's it's boosting up to the 6.2 gigahertz that it's supposed to but when it does that it also hits 100 degrees and it's like it causes these like stuttery whatever glitches in uh like while i'm editing a video like it's not doing it right like i don't it's not doing it right now like i'm literally recording in 4k it doesn't it's only in my video editor it's probably adobe like frick you adobe just let me buy your shit <laughs> so, <laughs> it's true dude so dumb just like for, oh hey let me give you a subscription for the rest of your life it's only 500 dollars a year oh hey how about you just let me buy one program since i only want one program for 500 bucks rather than you making me pay 500 bucks every year for 20 applications and i only use one of them <laughs> i don't even use photoshop i still use gimp because <laughs> it's what i started youtube because i couldn't afford photoshop when i first started it was i was a poor fella i was a poor guy um so i use gimp because it was free and i still use it <laughs> but uh um but anyways yeah that's really all i need to say about this I'm just curious to like what what like the the, the extent that we're going to see like are we going to get like gen 6 NVMe speeds and then are we also going to be getting like 10,000 megahertz DDR5 or even DDR6 support actually Oh my goodness. I was actually I was like it was actually a pretty good guess. 2024 to 2025 so they probably do have ddr6 hold up see the benefit of me having like the adhd stuff is dude i can scan through stuff so quick like i can actually like you guys don't understand and like i'm actually like i don't remember what i'm scanning but like if there's like anything like in this that i need to know it's super like i can actually like scan all of this stuff and uh anyways but anyway, AMD is reportedly skipping the 700 motherboard series and the X870 naming for the next gen AM5 series is going to be matching Intel's. What? Oh, confusion inbound. Um, uh, so 
again, and that's really all I need to say about this. So we got right here, next gen flagship desktop perform. We got the chipset Z890, the Z790, and then we got the, there we go. And we got the X870 and the X670. So we got DDR4 memory. Next up is just this, AO Neo upgrades three gaming handhelds to the AMD Ryzen 7 8840U, and then the pricing is gonna be ranging from 700 bucks to 1400 bucks. Big price gap there. So we got via whatever, Lily Pooting. Oh my God, that's a funny name. Lily Pooting. Ha! <laughs> via, <laughs> dude, that's a weird name. Lily Pooting. That what it lily pooting. Tell me that isn't funny sounding. I think that's funny sounding. So, anyways, 16 gigabytes and then 512 gigabytes. This one has gigabytes. 16 is just lame. 32 is gigabytes. And then we also have 32 gigabytes down here. So we have Damn bro, these are insane. Frick that. I'm doing pretty well for myself, and even I can see that being dumb. You buy like, and I, I get it, dude. It's a handheld. It's it's like a specialty type thing. But like, you can literally get a, a mini PC with a set with an eighty eight forty in it for like three hundred bucks. You know what I mean? And then that we we're, we're like that we're in like the thirteen and a good one too. By the way, I'm not talking about like a potato mini PC. I'm talking about a mini PC with like thirty two gigabytes and a one terabyte NVMe. I mean, it's a mini PC, so it's not gonna be anything like really special. But still. You know what I mean? It's like 300 bucks versus 1300. That seems a little bit ridiculous to me, bruh. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this. I, again, I don't know about the graphically challenged guy, if that's guessing or whatnot, but I'm just going to take a wild guess that somebody that's because they, he knows like people like I'm like, I'm not even going to do it. He knows people that are like, whatever. Gamers Nexus, Jay's Tooth Linus, all these like whatever bigger people that actually know what they're talking about. He knows they're not going to watch his entire video, take a bunch of screenshots and make sure everything matches up. He did this intentionally, dude. And like, again, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. Don't hate the player, hate the game. But it really is. It's a douche move to do that. It's just like, dude, take three minutes. Talk about it. I, Dude, I do this. My, this channel is doing really well. I like, I know I get off topic and I'm like, I have a lot of energy and the stuff I deal with, I don't really want to have to say it every single time I make a video, but it's pretty obvious the stuff I struggle with. Okay. Um, and not being able to remember what I'm talking about for more than two minutes and losing track of what I'm saying. Uh, like right now. And then I have to go on for another minute talking about random stuff because eventually I'm going to remember it. But literally, I'm doing it at the moment right now. Oh, so graphic. See, I literally did it. It happens to me all the time. <laughs> but anyways, so graphically challenged, dude, like I, I am. I'm subscribed to him and I'm not like I'm not trying to be disrespectful, man. But it's, it's a douche move to do that to people like you make an 11 minute video and you actually never show what the freaking video is about like you force people to watch the entire thing and they still don't learn anything because i'm just going to take a wild guess you probably aren't remembering the specs of a 5090 the specs of a 5080 the specs of a 5070 the specs of a 5060 plus all the ti versions of those cards in comparison to the 40 series are you going to remember this like massive like bundle of numbers i'm guessing not i at least for me, I can't even remember somebody's friggin' phone number, except from when I was a kid. Dude, I used to be smart when I was a kid. <laughs> I'm not smart anymore. But anyways, um, the, like, dude, I do this. Like, the whatever. Actually, it was actually funny because I literally had. It was it was actually him. It was literally him. I did it for you. I'm literally. Oh my god. I literally did this for you. Like, if you go back to my channel. And you like doing the like YouTube's little search thing now because you can go to a channel and you can like actually search for that specific creator's videos. You can search my uh, 5060 versus 5070 versus 5080 versus 5090. I literally did all the work for you because he made another video that was like that and he blurred it all out throughout the entire video. So what I ended up doing is I recorded his video 
and then I took snapshots of every single time he changed it and then I brought it into my photo editor and I deleted all of the blurred sections so that it was all there and boom you could see it all and compare everything I literally did that and it's one of the most popular videos on my channel dude and I do it every time like the timestamps and all at least most of the time if the video is like about one topic I'm not gonna put like a bunch of timestamps because it's literally just me talking about one thing and then also like it's like if you go down if you look at the timestamps there's like a free there's like an eight minute section of me that it's literally like the section saying hanging out and talking about stuff and people still watch it it's just because I'm a friggin' weirdo and people enjoy being entertained by my weirdness. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> and uh, actually, you know, it's, I got a comment the other day of like somebody that was like, he, they, he left the comment like, why do you just laugh randomly? Like out of nowhere. And I, like I explained to him, I, I said, I have high functioning autism. It's just something I do. I don't really know why. And there was actually a comment that makes a lot of, and I don't know why I've never thought about this because my mind never shuts up. Okay. But like when I'm like reading these articles and I'm, I'm, I'm like thinking about a hundred million other things. And I'm like, I'm thinking about like all these like articles and these Reddit people. And then these other YouTubers like graphically challenged. And it's like, I'm thinking about just like weird, funny stuff in my head. And it probably just makes me giggle because of it. You know what I mean? And that's why it like literally giggle bites. I literally say that all the time because I'm just a goofball, bro. But anyways, I'm getting a bit off top. I'm going to end the video, guys. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.